Hi everyone, it's Lynn Hay Salmon here. Welcome to my channel. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. In this video, I want to show you how to do some really basic video editing. I have just started learning about video editing and you'll see from my videos that I'm slowly but surely improving. Something that I learned recently that has really helped me is how to cut a video. And, you know, I'm quite a dumbo when it comes to technical things. I actually, I've actually spent quite a considerable amount of time trying different trials, trying different softwares. And I have upset myself to the point of tears. I just have not been able to get it right. Until recently I came across Filmora Wondershare. You can use Filmora for free, but then you will have a watermark across your video. And I found it quite nice to play around for free to see if I could actually get this thing to work. But once I got it to work, I found that I couldn't use it with a watermark because it was, it was quite a big watermark. It, was, it kind of sat right across the screen over here. So let's get to it. I'll show you how to cut a video. So here's the program that I use. You can go to the website fullmora.wondershare.com. And you can download it for free over here. You can also go for the paid licenses for $39.99 for one year or $59.99 for a lifetime license. The free license you can get by with if you want to, but it's going to have a watermark right across the center of your screen. I found it quite a large watermark that I, I couldn't actually make use of it myself. So when you open up Filmora, you're going to come to this screen first. I always choose full feature mode it's also important to make sure that this over here is on the 16 to 9 okay so when you open it up this is where you're going to come to right so once it's opened up this is where you're going to find yourself and to add in a video that you've taken you go to file at the top and then you choose import media and then import media files so I'm gonna go and just take a new video that I've done today and I'm gonna open that and it's gonna import that All right there we go so there's my new video that I've just taken today you can also see, if you scroll up here, you can see all the things that you've, you've imported previously. So, if you click on it, it's going to add it whoop, over there at the bottom. Okay, so it's going to be on the first, the first line over there. Now, the first thing that I like to do with this is I want to make sure that the background sound is taken out of the video. The background noise and I'm going to sharpen up the video as well so I'm going to double click on the film at the bottom and I'm going to click first on audio at the top here you'll see audio and video so I click on audio and then it says over here it says denoise and I click on remove background noise and then I take this little bar all the way from weak and I take it on strong and then I click OK and then I double click to go back in and then I go to video okay there's a little button here that says enhance and then a little checkbox next to it that says auto enhance I click on that and if you look at how it sharpens up the picture I'll take it off again you see it looks slightly blurred and now it looks much much sharper now what I'm gonna do is I'm editing this video before I go and put a green, you can see that's a green um, screen behind me, right? Or green sheet, a wrinkled green sheet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just make the contrast just a little bit more. Um, I move these buttons to contrast, the saturation, the brightness, oh, not too bright, and the tint. I like to move it a little bit forward uh, you can fiddle with all these settings yourself and I like to just do that so that the green is much more noticeable behind me so I don't have any problems when I 
put my image behind me that's going to be my next training session so don't worry about that too much but you can just play around with all these settings here to make the, the video look how you want it to look and then I click on OK now what I do is I click on play so that I can see the video playing in this 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 window over here and then um, I will start editing at the bottom here so if I click play I've taken the sound off so you can see there I'm getting ready for the video and you're going to want to kind of find it just before you start talking so you don't want to do it when the when I'm turning the camera on you want to start it there I've got a nice smile <laughs> okay so now you've you've pressed I press pause when I want it to stay in the place over there so what I do is I, I play the video and then I press pause whoops and I'm moving it back there to where I'm smiling okay now I'm going to click on this little scissors over here and that's going to place a little split in the video and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on that piece so you can see it's highlighted a bit in orange and I'm just going to click my delete button so that's quite easy to do but now that it becomes a little bit tricky further on in the video let's just have a look okay I'm going to stop it over there now if I press the scissors if I try click on the scissors for some reason it's got all faded and this drove me crazy the first time I used it I couldn't figure out how to get the scissors if you click on the scissors and nothing happens just go over where the line is on your film and click on it once and then you'll see that the scissors comes up dark again and you can click on it and then you can play a bit and say you want to leave all this bit out and then that's where you want your video to start again you go click on the scissors again so you can see you are you're, you're splitting these all into sections of bits that you want like that piece and then this piece I don't want. So I click on it again and I delete it. So you're going to go through the whole video like this and you're just going to clip out the pieces that you don't want. What you can also do is you can take an image, for example, and you can pop it in, in that piece over there. So you can see now you've got me talking. And you see, so that's the image that I use for my background for the green screen. Okay, so you can choose to add in still images and all sorts of things in. You can also insert, if you've got another video that you've created, you can also take another video and pop it in there into all the bits and pieces as well. So just like I've added in that that still picture into the video over there you can also add in other video clips in between you just have to create a split with the scissors great and then as soon as your video is finished you've gone through the entire thing you've made it look exactly how you want this is really cool because you can cut out all the ums and the ahs and the you know the funny expressions the mistakes that you make um, and once you've finished your video and it's ready, I suggest what you do is once you've, you've finished editing your entire video, play it through once from start to finish and watch it carefully because I've made some terrible mistakes and then uploaded it to YouTube without checking it properly and that really is a great pity. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go to the top, you're going to go to export and here you can export to device, to YouTube, to Facebook, to Vimeo or you can burn it to DVD. I like to export it to my device and this is because I like to rename my videos my keyword before I upload it to YouTube this helps with your SEO so you can have your video ranking higher that's it for cutting for today if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel